What's going on guys? Um, it's been over a year since I've made a video. Um, there's a couple of reasons for that. The first being, well I had some trouble with the computer and software, recording software and things like that. And the second reason is I got married in July and now I have kids of my own and I have to do a lot of things that I didn't have to do when I was single. You know, go to school, take them to school, feed them, go grocery shopping, you know, do things with the wife, do things with the kids, go to the circus, etc. You get the point. Um, but I'm going to start making videos again. It's been enough time to where I've got settled in a little bit. So, um, the first thing is, this channel, I wanted to make it clear what the, the future of this channel is. Uh, when I first started making videos, um, I helped uh, a friend of mine do videos and gameplay videos, kind of like walkthroughs and stuff like that. Um, it was ntagameguides.com or whatever was the, way of the name of the website, and um, he had his own channel. I think it's got like 10,000 subs or something like that, and I've done quite a bit of content uh, over there. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check out his, um, his channel. He still posts stuff on there regularly. But uh, I don't make videos on that channel anymore unless he asked me to. I never charged him to do anything either. I've done quite a few videos over there. But today I want to talk about the future of this channel, what kind of videos I'm going to be making. And I know a lot of people that have subbed to me in, in the past were strictly about football and, you know, Axis football and, you know, Madden 08 and the future EA and all that stuff, the rants I used to do. And... Now I've, I've kind of decided that I'm going to do the kind of videos that I want to do. And the kind of videos I want to do are gameplay videos like the one you're seeing in the background, like Contra, NES Contra, uh, just doing a no-death uh, run-through of it, you know. And I'll do commentary. I'll redo this video if you guys want and do commentary over it to show you, you know, the tricks of Contra or whatever. But I'm, I've been a skilled gamer for quite a while, and... Um, I've made, like I said, videos for that for my friend, NTA Game Guides, but I want to do my own thing now, so I don't make money on YouTube. I don't, it's just strictly a hobby. I have a job. I'm happy with it. You know, I have a career. I just, I just do this for fun. I don't, I don't want to monetize it or nothing, so there'll never be ads on my video unless I use like a, a copyright or whatever, and you know how that is these days with YouTube. But anyway, now before I get to the first topic, my stepdaughter would like to say hi. There she goes. All right. All right, so the first topic, Axis Football 2019. I know I haven't talked about it uh, because I haven't made any videos, but uh, I've played it. I played the beta a lot, and I didn't make any gameplay videos or anything, but the modding support has is, is gotten stronger. Um, there's more mods for it this year. Uh, there's more people making mods, but it's a big shame that to maximum football access football's competition did not decide to go the PC route. I mean, they were saying it, it, it didn't benefit them and uh, they had tried on their Canadian football game, which was really, really, really bare bones. Of course it didn't do well. I think they're just ignorant and they don't understand that modding is how these games are going to live. And you know, without the mods, it's just not, it's just not going to be as strong. At least Axis is still supporting the modding community. But yes, the mods are very good this year, as they have always been. But the gameplay still needs a lot of work. But next year, I think pretty much the entire cycle, I think, is going to be concentrated on gameplay. So I have a huge list to give to the developer that I want. I want them to look at and consider. I mean, there's, there's a ton of things I'm writing down that I really want them to focus on. I don't know how much they're going to get to. Um, I know they're limited. They have a limited budget. They have limited resources. Limited time. I mean, time is money. I really hope they do get on the Nintendo Switch, though, because that would give them the most bang for their buck. I mean, it, it, it's, it's a common fact that indies do much better on the Switch than any other platforms. In some cases, they sell more than all combined platforms. So, yeah, I just want to see Axis or even Maximum get on the Switch, but Maximum said that they've been rejected, and Axis says they've been rejected. Last year they got rejected. They hadn't tried this year, but hopefully they'll get back on track and get get on the Switch. But until then, all we have is Mutant League football on the Switch. So, But as far as Maximum football, I was hoping to play it this year, but I don't have an Xbox One. I don't have a PlayStation 4. 
I have a PC and a Switch, and that's really all I need. I don't really care about the exclusives from Microsoft and Sony. I mean, I'm more about it Nintendo. I grew up Nintendo, and I'm still a Nintendo fan all the way till I die, pretty much. But it's a shame that uh, we can't get any decent football games on Switch. EA doesn't even want to put Madden on the Switch, which it just boggles my mind because they could easily do it and make a ton of money because there's there's a starved audience on the Switch right now for football games. Anyway, I played Madden 19. Eh, it was good. I liked it. It was all right. Um, I'm not touching Madden 20 because it's pretty much the same game. Um, there had been a large gap between uh, football games for Madden that I had played. The last Madden I had played was Madden 13. And from Madden 13, I skipped all the way till Madden 19 on the PC. And that's the only reason I got it was because it was on the PC. But this year I'm skipping Madden altogether. Um, I really don't care. Um, football is, is kind of in the background right now for me i don't really care what's going on in football right now because well the dolphins are tanking for one thing they they don't want to win and it would uh not be good for them to win right now at this juncture because they would hurt their draft status which is sad because you have to root for your team to lose man that just sucks it's a it's tough i mean it's easier for me i don't have to worry about them winning because they're not going to win for a long time anyway but yeah I do want to get some football content again, but as far as new football games on the Switch and stuff like that, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. So on to the next topic. This IMV Gaming! Oh my goodness, what a scam this guys have been. Oh, I knew it coming a mile away. A mile away I called this shit. I called this shit a mile away. And I was just it reminded how bad Axis Football was. Oh, I... They're, they're making a real football game. Hmm. Well, they sure got your money, but they didn't make no football game. And Maximum has taken the reins on that and actually have a product. And it's only going to get better, just like Axis. But I think it's really hilarious that that uh, everybody that was defending these hardcore uh, IMV gaming <laughs> defenders are just sitting there with no game and are out all their money. I don't know how much money that uh, they made on that uh, scam, but I think it was over a million dollars. So, yeah, I'm, I sense lawsuits coming in the future, possibly, but I don't like to say I told you so, but I told you so. So, let's call this uh, the IMV Gaming. They're fakers, but let's go on to a player. I call them fakers and players. The legit versus the non-legit, okay? So, you have... IMV Gaming, which is total fakers. But there's actually some players in the game, too. You know, you've had Axis Football, you have Maximum Football. But how about King Havo making his own football game, which is very commendable. I hope it gets on the Nintendo Switch because uh, he would make a lot of money on that. Uh, and I'd like to see indie developers succeed with their endeavors, especially when they're trying to bring, you know, something that it just doesn't exist on the Switch. Like, football games, they just don't exist. But King Havo has made a game called Legend Bowl, I think. Uh, Legendary Bowl or Legend Bowl. Um, but yeah, man, that it looks like an old-fashioned Tecmo Bowl game with some, you know, enhancements and stuff, like a modern-day Tecmo Bowl. But uh, yeah, I'm very interested in this game. I hope it does really well. I hope it gets on the Switch, for one thing. And if it gets on the PC, of course, he's trying it on Steam first. It, when it, If it gets accepted and gets on PC... We could mod the hell out of that. We could make our own logos again, and we could have like a Tecmo Bowl, modern Tecmo Bowl game. So, yeah, it's not what y'all really want to see, I guess, with the modern-day graphics and everything, but graphics were never that really important to me anyway. But, yeah, I'm excited about that game, and maybe if Maximum ever decides to put their game on the Switch or on the PC, I might be interested in that, but it's gotten kind of a mixed reception. Some people really don't like it. Some people do. But, um, yeah, I'm excited whenever a new football game comes to the market or gets introduced or whatever. But, yeah, good luck to Havo. I hope he, he becomes really successful with this game. Uh, Legend Legend Bowl, I think it is. But every time he posts on Twitter, I'm, I'm always looking at it, and I'm, I'm quite impressed because, you know, he's always wanted a football game since the 2K. He wants a 2K game, but he knows that it's not coming probably, and he's 
made the editor for 2K football, and now he's doing this. So he he's pretty much knows the writings on the wall that hey, we're not getting another football game, guys. Uh, it's up to the indies to come up with their own stuff, and and he is pretty much an indie developer. He's making his own football game. So props to King Havo for that, and I'm looking forward to it. I, I sure hope it gets on the Switch, and I hope Axis and Maximum get on the Switch too because. You know, that would help them get more money and, and improve their game. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited about all these indies getting getting better. And just having having indie, having alternatives besides Madden. It's always been Madden for, you know, most of my adult life now. It's really sad that we've been deprived for so long. But it, it is what it is. And it, it's it's a monopoly. What can you do? Next topic. Let's talk about... What kind of videos I want to make in the future with this channel. Um, as I alluded to earlier, I used to do videos for my friend, his uh, NTA Game Guides YouTube channel, which was like basically how to achieve achievements on the Xbox or the PC and stuff like that. And I, I did quite a bit. I did Time Pilot. I did Root Beer Tapper. I did some Far Cry uh, Predator uh, I, did, I did a lot. I, it's, I can't even remember all of them I did, but my most impressive, I think, was the Spider-Man 3 videos um, for the Xbox 360, how to do the races. I, th I don't think anybody else has made videos for that because of how complicated they are, those races, and how how damn difficult they are. But yeah, I'm always, you know, enjoy trying to do challenging games and showing people how to do them. You know, Russian Attack was another one I that I was really good at uh, on the 360, which was a very high uh, difficult uh, achievements, especially with the uh, Mad Marine achievement, which is what I was kind of famous for on the Xbox 360 besides Frogger. Um, yeah, I just want to continue to do what I used to do. Um, I will still do football videos, but, uh, you know, I, I, I still want to do what I'm passionate about, and that's, that's video games and, and showing people how to play them better or whatever so that's why I'm just kind of showing the Contra game in the background uh, this is just something I've been playing recently and I was like you know what I, I need to make a video I haven't made a video in like a year and now I guess it's time so I was just doing a couple no deaths and I was like yeah no, I guess I could video this and put it up but you just guys let me know what you want me to try to do I don't know I, mean, I have some ideas of what I want to do next uh, maybe some Castlevania on the NES Maybe a, new, a no hit run through or something, because um, you know Castlevania is also one of my favorite uh, NES games as a kid. It's pretty cool going back, you know, when you struggled as a kid and you go back and you your skills have improved and you can actually beat these games that you that were so difficult as a child. You know, it was like man, this this was tough as a kid. You know, Contra was like, we always had to put the 30-man code in, you know, but now I could do it without taking a hit, without dying. It's like, you know, it's kind of kind of surreal going back and just saying, yeah, I beasted this game now. But yeah, I, I do want to do some extra, some content besides football. I'm, I'm not burned out on football. I just, ever since, um, you know, Ryan Moody took my content on one of my videos, I'm like, you know, what's the point of this? Like, I don't even, you know, I don't even get credit anymore for, for things that I do. Like, he straight up stole that content from me. Didn't even give me credit for nothing. And I don't even make money on YouTube. I mean, that's a real scam, uh, scummy move of him. And, I, you know, he's an opportunist and he's going to do what he wants to benefit him and uh, screw everybody else. But, yeah, that's just how things are. You know, people are always going to try to get ahead no matter who they hurt or whatever, so... I don't really want to do access content unless it's, you know, modding or something. I don't know. I mean, because he's going to get all the exclusive content anyway that for new stuff. I mean, sure, I know what's coming in 2020, some of the stuff, but I can't talk about. But, you know, I feel like it's it's not really, you know, necessary for me to keep you guys in touch with what's going on anymore because... You know, even if I did make it, he would just steal it anyway, because that's what kind of person he is. All right, on to the next topic, and probably the final topic, since we're nearing the end of the game here. Um, I guess I'll just give out a shout-out to Virtual Footballer, because, you know, he's got a great podcast going, and, you know, I listen to it all the time, and, you know, he makes a lot of 
videos sometimes where he talks about, you know, you know, just play games, man. Enjoy yourself. Y'all worry too much about the, I mean, is people worrying too much about, grown men worrying about this Madden too much. Like, that's what I'm saying. I'm going on to gameplay games and stuff because, you know, I'm not getting any younger. I mean, I want to enjoy these games while I can, you know. <laughs> I still got the capacity to do them. And, you know, making rant videos about Madden is, is just not very productive, in my opinion, anymore. Um, I know it's not going to go anywhere. It's a monopoly. But, yeah, Virtual's got a point. You know, he's like, man, just play these games, man. Just play your games. Um, <laughs> it's because, you know, what are they for? They're, they're not to bitch about and complain about. They're to enjoy. Yeah, they're going to have flaws. Every game's got flaws. But um, just... Uh, Try to enjoy them as best you can, and like I say, Contra, it's an old game. I'm playing it right now, but, you know, I'm making a video about it, and, you know, I'll make a commentary video if I have to about how to play it, but just uh, how I'm playing now, you can see I'm enjoying myself, and I'm not uh, cursing about Madden or EA or uh, all the developers who've left Twitter for a reason because, you know, they're tired of the abuse, and I don't blame them one bit, but yeah. Just just a little bit of advice, guys. Uh, enjoy yourself, you know. Enjoy life because, you know, you only have so much of it. And I guess really that's all for now, guys. Just tell me what you want to see me do in the future. And hopefully I'll come up with a new video soon. And like I said, don't worry. I still will make football videos. It's just uh, going to be planned, I guess. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'll see you guys next time. It's good to be back.